Traditional prescriptions for growth in Africa are not working very well. After one trillion dollars in African development-related aid in the last 60 years, real per capita income today is lower than it was in the 1970s. Aid is not doing too well. In response, the Bretton Woods institutions, the IMF, and the World Bank push for free trade, not aid. Yet the historical record shows little empirical evidence that free trade leads to economic growth. The newly prescribed silver bullet is microcredit. We seem to be fixated on this romanticized idea that every poor person in Africa is an entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> Yet, my work and travel in 40-plus countries across Africa has taught me that. Most people want jobs instead. My solution: forget microentrepreneurs. Let's invest in building Pan-African titans like Sudanese businessman Mo Ibrahim. Mo took a contrarian bet on Africa when he founded Celtel International in '98 and built it into a mobile cellular provider with 24. Million subscribers across 14 African countries by 2004. The Mo model might be better than the Everyman Entrepreneur model, which prevents an effective means of diffusion and knowledge sharing. Perhaps we are not at the stage in Africa where many actors and small enterprises leads to growth through competition. Consider these two alternative scenarios: one, you loan $200. To each of 500 banana farmers, allowing them to dry their surplus bananas and fetch 15% more revenues at the local market. Or two, you give $100,000 to one savvy entrepreneur and help her set up a factory that yields 40% additional income to all 500 banana farmers and creates 50 additional jobs. We invested in the second scenario. And backed 26-year-old Kenyan entrepreneur Eric Mutomi to set up an agro-processing factory called Stawi to produce gluten-free banana-based flour and baby food. Stawi is leveraging economies of scale and using modern manufacturing processes to create value for not only its owners but its workers who have an ownership in the business. Our dream is to take an Eric Mutomi. And try to help him become a Mo Ibrahim, which requires scale, financing, local and global partnerships, and extraordinary perseverance. But why Pan-African? The scramble for Africa during the Berlin Conference of 1884, where, quite frankly, we Africans were not exactly consulted. <laughs> Resulted in massive fragmentation and many sovereign states with small populations. Liberia, four million; Cape Verde, five hundred thousand. Pan Africa gives you one billion people, granted across fifty-five countries with trade barriers and other impediments. But our ancestors traded across the continents before Europeans drew lines around us. The Pan African opportunities outweigh the challenges, and that's why we're expanding Stawi's markets from just Kenya. To Algeria, Nigeria, Ghana, and anywhere else that will buy our food, we hope to help solve food security, empower farmers, create jobs, develop the local economy, and we hope to become rich in the process. While it's not the sexiest approach, and maybe it doesn't achieve the same feel good as giving a woman a hundred dollars to buy a goat on Kiva.org, <laughs> perhaps supporting fewer, higher-impact entrepreneurs to build massive businesses at scale, Pan Africa, can help change this. The political freedom for which our forebears fought is meaningless without economic freedom. We hope to aid this fight for economic freedom by building world-class businesses, creating indigenous wealth, providing jobs that we so desperately need, and hopefully, helping achieve this. Africa shall rise. Thank you. So, Sangu, 
Of course, this is strong rhetoric. You're making 100% contrast between microcredit uh, and uh, regular investment and growing regular investment. Do you think there is a role for microcredit at all? I think there is a role. Microcredit has been a great innovative way to expand financial access to the bottom of the pyramid. But for the problems we face in Africa, when we were looking at the Marshall Plan to revitalize water in Europe, it was not full of donations of sheep. We need more than just microcredit. We need more than just give $200. We need to build big businesses, and we need jobs. Very good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.